Hey makers, this is Yana with Makis. Today I'm going to show you how to turn a cake topper into a photo frame and you can hang it for a Christmas tree or any other holidays or just give it as a gift. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe for more helpful tutorials for making cake toppers. Also, be sure to get your freebies from the link below. Okay, well, let's get started. So to get started, I'm going to upload a file from my shop. So just select the SVG file and drag it to the desktop. Then go ahead and hit save. Choose it and insert images. Here we have the reindeer ornament style cake topper. So to make it an ornament, all we have to do is add the little circle for the loop or you can use this as a cake topper with a stick and add the name. But today we're going to do is we're going to create a picture frame so you can give it as a gift to your kids, grandkids or just hang it at home. So to get started, let's ungroup and first we're going to hide this little line at the bottom because we really don't need it. Then we're going to choose shapes and select the square. What we're going to do here is unlock and we're going to change its size to the regular 4x6 photo frame that you can print anywhere at home or you can take it to your local um, photo place to print. So this is the photo that we will be using, the photo size. So we wanted to create a frame that is going to go within this. So to do this, I'm going to go ahead and duplicate. So I know this is my photo. And this is going to be the beginning of our frame. Let's duplicate again. I'm going to go ahead and overlap. Let's do centered. So now both of them are overlapping, but we need to select the top one. So let's go ahead and make this smaller. Let's try and make it three and a half wide and then center it within this frame. So if we again select both of them and do align center, you can see that they are aligned vertically and horizontally. Now while th these two are selected, on the bottom right here, go ahead and hit slice. What we've done is basically created a frame, so the middle part we can delete. And now we have our frame for the photo. So let's pretend this is the photo back. The photo, I'm going to just change the color so we can see better. So the photo is going to fit within our frame. Okay, let's hide this for now. Now what we left to do is size our topper to the photo frame. So you can go ahead and overlap it. Let me move it up so it's easier to work with. and size it to the size of the frame. And again, if you overlap it, you can select both of them. Actually, let me take this one and duplicate. I want to use it later again. So I want to have it as a backup. So now that we have our topper and the photo frame, select both of these and hit weld. If you see like we have right here a little bit peeking out you can do undo right here on the left and you can try to fit it again a little bit better. So 
So I select them again and hit weld. There we go. Now we have them aligned pretty well. At this point, your photo frame is ready. You can go ahead and cut this one out and just print your 4x6 photo and you can either glue it to the frame or you can put a double-sided tape, whatever you want. But also I want to show you how to add a little bit more to it. You can add a name or you can put the year or any word that you like. Happy birthday, joy, believe, anything you want. So I'm going to show you how to add a year and how to add the loop for the photo frame if you want to use it as an ornament. So click on shape, circle, and we want to make it small to fit on top right here. Let's zoom in. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the circle, hold shift, and select the frame. I'm going to do slice. The reason I'm doing this is because I don't want the middle of the circle to have this little triangle after we're done creating the hole for the loop. So since we hit slice, there are two of these little triangles. We can delete one and weld these two again and you'll see what I mean so let's weld so now if I hide it we do have the little pointy part from the flower picking out so let's show it again so take your circle and duplicate it and make it smaller to fit in within the original circle Select both of your circles, hold shift, select it and hold shift to select the other one. Now go down and hit slice. Now the inner part we can delete. Now take your circle, hold shift and hold the so to select the frame and select weld. Now the circle and your frame are together so you can use this as an ornament. So at this point, this is ready to go, but let's add the year. So take your text tool and let's type the year. Let's type 2020. Let's choose a font. I like to work with Arial as it's already on the computer for most people and select bold because it's a thicker font easier to cut out and I'm gonna go ahead and place it in the middle and overlap the frame now select the year and the frame by holding shift then go ahead and hit weld. Now you have a custom frame that you can hang on your tree as an ornament. Now the reason I left this one here is because I want to show you that we created a vertical but you can also do this as horizontal. So go ahead and flip this one and you can do the same thing. Oh, let me see sure it's 90 rotated. We can do the same thing and we can add a another ornament. Let's try to upload another design. We'll go to upload. We can use this unicorn cake topper. So SVG file, drag it over. And we hit save. Choose the design. Insert image. Now same thing we can do ungroup. We don't need the, the little line, either hide it or delete it. You can go ahead and delete it. And now we can basically size it to fit the frame 
because our frame is already 4 by 6 so it, it's going to fit, fit a photo easily. Make sure it overlaps a, li a little bit so you can weld easily. Go ahead and select both and hit weld. Now you have a unicorn photo frame that is horizontal. You can also do the unicorn and turn it vertically, but this is an option when I'm showing how to do a horizontal unicorn. Right here you can add initials or you can put a name, age, so let's do, we can put a year, let's put an initial. Let's put the letter S for as an initial, make it a little bit bigger. And weld it to the frame. You can also decorate and add additional information just like we did on this left one, on the reindeer one. You can put a year, you can put Merry Christmas. It's a lot of options that you can do. You can put Happy Birthday, you use it as a birthday decoration for your party. For this particular design, you don't need a loop because the horn right here has a loop. So you can hang it if you like using the loop. This design is pretty tall. It's six inches wide by nine inches high so it's gonna be pretty big so probably better to have it as a decoration maybe on your mantle so here we have we have two designs that you can use from cake topper now to a photo frame enjoy